You lean forward and you go forward. You lean back and you go back. It's as intuitive as walking. Ah, yes, the Segway. It promised a revolution, but never quite got on a roll. The Segway was supposed to change transportation forever. We would all be riding around on these little motorized scooters. But then it came out, and it was just much, much more expensive than people expected. Cities started banning them on sidewalks, and it very quickly became a, a joke rather than the future. Hey, you know, it would be really cool if it had four wheels and a compartment where people could sit inside. <laughs> Jonah Berger, a professor of marketing at Wharton Business School in Philadelphia, says the Segway is part of a long, dubious American tradition the flop. It comes in all shapes and sizes. You never know when the next new thing is about to take off or not. It can fly. How does it feel to own an Edsel? It's like falling in love. The Ford Edsel of the 1950s gave everybody a good laugh, unless you owned one. People would talk about getting a car with different pieces missing that they'd have to go back and then get them replaced. A few decades later, New Coke went flat. It's a kick, it's a hit, it's a Coke. Coke is it. A lot of the next big things never end up being as big or as next as we, we hope they're going to be. Inside the new product works in Ann Arbor, Michigan, on shelves groaning with all manner of stuff, you can find a guide to what works and what doesn't. We have approximately 120,000 different products in about 350 different categories. This collection of products belongs to a market research company called GFK. It's Elliot Rawson's job to help clients discern fad from fizzle. When companies come out with new products, they're often thinking, how can we change the world? How can we change people's lives and the way they work? Rawson says that fewer than 20% of new products succeed. The other 80% probably shouldn't. Take toaster eggs. Actually, kind of a hockey puck of egg, not exactly the most appetizing thing. How about Pepsi for breakfast? Pepsi has done a lot of brilliant things in their advertising right. and new products, but this was not one of them. There are success stories here. The Swiffer swept away the competition and sweeps in half a billion dollars in annual sales. Swiffer Sweeper cleans so completely, you'll never go back to your old room again. Jonah Berger, who wrote a book on why some things catch on, says the answer is simple. When we see others using a product, we tend to want to use it too. We found actually if your neighbor buys a car, you're much more likely to end up buying a car even if you don't necessarily need one. And when you come right down to it, even flops serve a purpose. If there were no product flops, what would late night comedians talk about? As you can see, the Segway can travel on level ground, up ramps, down ramps, over another ramp. Sure, flops are funny. Feel the thrill of owning an Edsel. Except if the joke is on you. Thank you.